Hi, I'm Greg Valletto. I'm an academic tutor. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to solve a related rates problem in calculus. And so here's the problem we're going to be working on. A 13-foot ladder is resting on a wall. The top of the ladder is sliding down the wall at a rate of 10 feet per second. How fast is the bottom of the ladder moving along the ground when the bottom of the ladder is 5 feet from the wall? Alright, so first we're going to draw a picture to sort of wrap your head around what's going on here. So you got your wall, your ground, I'm very bad at drawing, and your 13 foot ladder. And um, what's happening is the uh, top of the ladder is sliding down and the bottom of it's sliding out as it falls down the wall. Um, and I'm going to call this height of the ladder here Y and this distance of the bottom of the ladder from the wall X. This is the right angle at the wall. Um, and so you know, as the ladder slides down, the top of it slides down, the bottom of it slides out as it falls under itself flat onto the ground. Okay, now what they're asking us for here is how fast the bottom of the ladder moves along the ground uh, at a certain time, given that the top of the ladder is falling at a specific rate. So basically, the rate at which the top of the ladder is falling is like dy dt, it's the rate of change of y, and they want us to find the rate of change of x with respect to time. Um, and so how we solve this problem is we need an equation that relates dx dt to dy dt. And the way that you do that is you find an equation that relates x to y. And then you take the derivative with respect to time of both sides. And that leaves you with an equation that relates the rate of change of x to the rate of change of y. So that's sort of the game plan. Um, so our first step and the hardest step in solving a related rates problem is to get an equation that relates x and y. Um, once you've done that, everything's pretty straightforward. And so drawing this picture again, um, with the hypotenuse, it makes a right triangle, right, with y and x. y is decreasing as x is increasing, the hypotenuse is constant at 13, but what's always going to be true in this right angle, regardless of x and y, is the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 13 squared, um, no matter what. So in this case, that is our equation that relates x and y. It wasn't too hard to get in this case. Um, so the next step is we take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. Um, and so you get 2x dx dt. Notice I'm using the chain rule there. I took the derivative of x squared with respect to x and then took the derivative of x with respect to t. I'm going to do the same with the y to get 2y dy dt and that is equal to 0. Um, okay, and now I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides because of the 0 we can just do that and now we get x dx dt equals negative y dy dt. Okay, now we're actually almost done. We, what we need to solve for here is dx dt. Um, they gave us dy dt. It's falling at 10 feet per second. And they gave us that x. Uh, it's when the bottom of the ladder is 5 feet from the wall, so x would be equal to 5. So now we just need to solve and figure out what y is when x is 5. Um, so drawing this triangle again. We got the hypotenuse of 13, the bottom is 5, and then we've got y. So 5 squared plus y squared is equal to 13, um, or 25 plus y squared, oh sorry, 13 squared. 25 plus y squared equals 169, y squared equals 169 minus 25. Um, I tend to be pretty careful in doing my algebra to write out my steps one at a time because I hate when I make a stupid mistake and I get something wrong. Also, I encourage my students to do that because then it's easier to get partial credit when you mix something up because your teacher can follow what you did. Okay, so y is the square root of 144, which is 12. Um, so y is 12. So getting back to our original equation, or the equation that we'd solved for, rather, um, we've got x dx dt equals negative y dy dt. So x is 5. Um, dx dt is what we're solving for. That's equal to y we just found out is um, 12. So we got negative 12. And dy dt is actually negative 10 because the ladder is falling, which means that y is decreasing. Um, so just sort of wrapping up here. 
5 dx dt equals negative 10 times negative 12. So 5 dx dt equals 120. Um, dx dt therefore equals 24, and that's our answer. Um, so let's check and make sure this is reasonable. Um, dx dt should be positive because x is increasing as the ladder uh, slides out, going back to our original diagram. X is increasing as the ladder slides out, so x should be, dx dt should be positive, so that's a reasonable answer. Um, seems kind of large, but the math is all correct, and that's what the answer is. So, to solve the rates problem, um, you need an equation that relates your rates of change to each other. So to get that, you get an equation that relates your variables to each other, in this case y and x, and then take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. The hardest part is getting that initial equation, which is made easier if you make yourself a good drawing like we did this time, and then from there, it's all pretty straightforward. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about this video, uh, please let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Um, to watch more of my videos, you can go to my website at latutor.net, or you can go to my YouTube channel and check them out. Uh, thanks a lot. I hope that was useful.